Do you have a million things to do? Do you have a lot going on in your life? And you're just not sure if you can add one more thing? Do you feel overwhelmed? And that you sometimes don't know where to start? I have an example that I want to share with you. This box represents our brains. And these puzzle pieces represent all the pieces, all those things to do. And sometimes when we get frustrated and when we get overwhelmed, we make a list of things to do. We get it all off of our brain. And don't we feel better? We feel really good that we've captured all of these pieces and said to ourselves, I can get these things done. I can do this. I can do this. And we start putting the pieces of the puzzle together and we start developing the picture of what a completed picture is going to look like. But it, our puzzles in our lives are complex. They don't just have these couple of pieces. I have more pieces to show you. There's work things to do. There's all the things in life that we have to do for work. So many PowerPoints, Word documents, Excel files. And we hold it all in our brains. We also have all the fun things we like to do, the things that keep our lives interesting and exciting. All the bucket lists, someday maybe, ideas, anything that we can think of. And we have it all. We should capture it all, but it's all in our brains. It's in our heads. And it's there whether you know it's there or not, and it's there whether you think it's organized or not. Sometimes it might frustrate you. Sometimes you might say to yourself, it's fine. I've got it all in my head. It doesn't stress me out. I'm not that type of personality. But imagine what it would feel like to realize when you're going to get all the pieces done. And I'm trying to put all the pieces back in the brain here. When you get all the pieces done, what that's going to feel like. When you complete a puzzle, what does that feel like? Accomplishment. You've set a goal and you've reached it and you've achieved something. And when you have all of these pieces of different puzzle pictures and everything that you want to achieve and it's all mixed up here together, it just seems so undoable. It seems so unrealistic that anything could get done. But I believe that you can get this done. And that's you know, one of the things I put together was this action step organizer binder that's showing you how to take all of these pieces and capture, capture them all and organize them all into a system that makes sense. You can't focus on all these pieces at once, but you also can't hold all of these pieces in your brain. So you need to have a system that gets them out of your brain into a place that you trust that will hold all of these pieces. And what I've created is this binder that helps me do that. And you can make this binder yourself. You don't have to buy it. I just bought a normal binder, holds eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, and made tabs. A tab for home, a tab for work, for other categories, connecting with people. I want to stay connected with my relationships and people, errands that I need to run, things that I'm waiting for, prayers that I have sent up to God that I can't do anything about, and my bucket list, the someday maybe ideas that I have that I can't do anything on right now. And each piece of the puzzle is a post-it note. It's just a note that I can write to myself, and it's action-oriented. It is the action step. The next action that I'm going to take is to post this video. It is very simple. And so I have the days of the week, and that way you can focus on your top priorities, but you can hold all of the other post-it notes and action steps and puzzle pieces that you have to do in your life. You can hold them all in one location and keep them all together and check this daily it's, it's, in my mind, better than an organizer that I've ever had. The goal is to take every action idea on your mind, describe the picture of what that's going to look like, 
and then write the very, very next physical action step that you're going to take. And put that post-it note, that action step, in the binder. And have a flow chart to show when you take anything into your life, what's it going to do? Is there going to be action? If there's no action, it's either going to be trash, you're going to send it to a file, or you might pray about it. And then you have errands and waiting in your bucket list. You know you're going to take action on them, but you just can't do that right now. You also have projects, things that require multiple action steps, so you just keep recycling. What is the next action step? What is the next step? And you're either going to do those steps right that minute, if you can. You're going to delegate it if someone else is either better qualified or you can't do it yourself. Or you're going to schedule it. You're going to just set a time or make it clear that you'll get something done next week or you'll put it on your calendar, your tickler. But every single thing is an action step and a post-it note that goes in this binder. You can buy one. It comes with a guide to explain how this works. Or you can make one yourself and see if it works. I would love your feedback. And I really hope this works for you. It's helped me out tremendously. And I really hope this helps you. Thank you very much.